Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Jewish architecture by exploring the top 10 most beautiful synagogues in the world. These stunning structures are not just places of worship but also magnificent testaments to history, culture, and architectural innovation. So, let's get started. Our journey begins in Russia with the Grand Choral Synagogue of St. Petersburg, designed by Vasily Stasov and completed in 1893. This grand building features a stunning 47-meter dome and a lavish wedding chapel. It's a symbol of the significant roles Jewish individuals played in Russian history. Restored in 2003, it now offers various activities and is surrounded by Jewish cultural shops. Next, we visit the Dohani Street Synagogue in Budapest, also known as the Great Synagogue. Designed by Ludwig Forster and completed in 1859, it's the largest synagogue in Europe, seating 3,000 people. Its Moorish revival style, complete with two majestic minarets, is truly breathtaking. The complex includes the Jewish Memorial and Museum, marking the history of Jews during the Holocaust, as the synagogue bordered the Budapest ghetto. In Bulgaria, we find the Sofia Synagogue, designed in the Moorish revival style by Austrian architect Friedrich Gruninger. Opened in 1909, its interior is adorned with Venetian mosaics, Carrara marble columns, and a grand octagonal dome. The chandelier, weighing 1.7 tons, is the largest in Bulgaria. Despite its capacity for 1,300 worshippers, attendance is small today due to the migration of Bulgarian Jews during the Zionist movement. In Serbia, the Subodica Synagogue stands as a unique example of Hungarian Art Nouveau style. Completed in 1902 for the Neolog community, it's a monument of exceptional importance. Restoration has been challenging, but efforts continue to revive this architectural gem, one of the few remaining in its style. The Tempio Maggiore, or Great Synagogue of Florence, is a significant symbol of Jewish emancipation in the 19th century. Blending Italian and Moorish styles, it was built with travertine and granite in striking red and beige stripes, which have faded over time. During World War II, a plan to destroy it was thwarted by Italian resistance fighters. The Jewish community here dates back to Roman times. Crossing over to the United States, the Eldridge Street Synagogue in Manhattan's Chinatown was built in 1887 by architects Peter and Francis William Herter. As one of the first synagogues in the U.S. for Eastern European Jews, it became a landmark. The Star of David and other Jewish symbols are prominent in its design. It drew massive crowds during high holidays in the early 20th century. In Prague, we find the Jubilee Synagogue, also known as the Velka Synagoga and Jerusalem Synagogue. Built in 1906, its colorful facade blends Art Nouveau and Moorish styles. The brilliant blue horseshoe arches make it stand out. Converted into a museum in 2008, it houses photos, artifacts, and films about the lives of Czech Jews after World War II. Another remarkable Hungarian synagogue is the new synagogue in Seged. Designed by Lippet Baumhorn in the Magyar style, it blends Art Nouveau, historicist, and Moorish aesthetics with some Gothic and Roman details. Completed in 1903, it has a towering 485-meter domed ceiling and a Torah ark made of sittim wood, a biblical reference to the Temple of Solomon. In Frankfurt, the West End Synagogue, designed by Franz Reckel and completed in 1910, features an Egyptian-Assyrian style. Its domed interior shines with gilded gold and shell limestone. It houses Orthodox and liberal prayer rooms, apartments, and classrooms. Remarkably, it survived the night of broken glass and World War II relatively unscathed. Finally, we visit the Reichstrasse Synagogue in Berlin, the largest in Germany. Built by Johann Honegger in 1904, it served as a place of lectures, concerts, and benefit performances for poor Jews during the Nazi regime. Although its contents were damaged during the night of broken glass, the building itself was minimally harmed and continued to serve the community until 1940. After World War II, the Soviet army reopened it for services, and it remains active today. 
Thanks for joining us on this tour of the world's most beautiful synagogues. If you enjoyed the journey, don't forget to like, comment on your favorite, share with friends, and subscribe for more amazing content. Until next time, keep exploring and appreciating the world's rich history and diverse cultures.